team. It's a great win. We'll be a really good team. Uh, still did the same things down the stretch that we've been doing all year. We turned it over and we fouled. Uh, but in the end, we were you know, good enough to, to overcome it. Had a great execution against them. 1-3-1 one, one late. It's a really good zone, really long zone. Showed a play that we hadn't shown. And uh, sticks for a big time play. So happy for our guys. We lost some games like that. And to get one was great. And, and they ran a hell of a play of a 3.8. My guys did everything right. So uh, last year at Michigan, we did everything wrong. This year, we did everything right. So that's a good sign for me as a coach. Questions? Uh, it, it looked like uh, Ricky didn't know where he was supposed to line up the first time he called timeout. I don't know if it was to see what they were doing or where they were lining up, but um, in terms of what he did at the end of the game and where he was to make that play. Yeah, I mean, think of a way to timeout. It really helped us. Uh, and I almost kept six in the game, and then right then I subbed Ricky in. Um, I just felt like he could, you know, it wasn't going to be a three. They were a uh, tight deal, and I just thought he could guard a little bit better on the perimeter. So it was a big time play by Ricky. Ricky's really coming. Uh, Sticks had a better second half. And I thought Sorrell gave us great minutes in the second half. But we need that for a confidence builder. Uh, we weren't terrific down the stretch, but we were good enough to win, you know, by two. Mark, what does a win like this mean to you guys? Uh, it's been a struggle thus far, but now you've beaten a ranked team and at home, and it's a Big Ten win. It does, you know, yeah, so, play. yeah, it's been a struggle, guys. We got the fifth youngest team in the country, so our guys are doing great. I'm really proud of them. We're getting better, and um, I'm just glad we won. We still made the same mistakes, three turnovers, had a little bit of a panic, and then we kept fouling. I'm not sure we fouled, just to be quite honest with you. But um, they were calling fouls on us. They, one kid shot more free throws than I think we did as a team. Um, so we overcame that. But we've got a young team, unbelievably young team, and we're doing some really good things. And this will give us confidence moving forward. We beat a really old team, really, really, really good team, well-coached team. How much did you feel like Jalen progressed from the point to Start the game to where he ended. Yeah, he was he wasn't very good early, was he? And um, he came out and Ricky was playing well, and I was going to keep him over there. And I was just chewing on the assistants were chewing on him, and, and he responded. And he responded. He got the dunk to start the second half, ran a play for him, hit the three in the corner, and then he got the three point play, and then one at the end. And he learned from the first time when he charged. Um, so great. We need sticks to play like that. You know, if he plays like that, we're a much better team. So. We're getting deeper. I thought Sorrell had great minutes in the second half. Sorrell was terrific. He missed the dunk, but his defense was great. Um, and so we're getting, we're getting, we're growing up right before your eyes. Co Coach, uh, congratulations on the win. Uh, Bruno was off the charts tonight, but on top of that, kind of like became like the alpha male out there. Is that something new? Did you been working on him to take charge? Because he did. Yeah, he's grown up. I'm really proud of him. Now, they guard us a little bit different than anybody else that guarding us. They, they dug hard. We, we, we got better against that. And in the second half, they started doubling. And, um, and, and so it's just recognizing the situation. But no, he's, he's been a great leader in practice. And I keep, you know, and this was a great win. And we, and we played well, really well at times and did some things. But we're getting better every day in practice. And Bruno's a big part of that. And Anthony's a big part of that. And the young guys. And it, it usually takes a couple weeks where it starts coming out on the floor. So I'm excited about what lies ahead for us because we, we just continue to better. it. Now Bruno, would, you know, they're going to double him, they're going to dig hard. So he's like, I'm going to get on the boards and get rebounds. And it's hard box out. And he wants to win. And he wants to win bad when he shows. Mark, what was the thought process on not calling a timeout before uh, six is scored? Before? Because you don't want to, it's hard enough to go against that 1-3-1 one, one, and they're going to do it either way. And um, I just think it's easier sometimes and, and I was able to save the timeout in case we needed it. So it's kind of a philosophy uh, I have. Um, I was mad that I called one earlier on a timeout and I thought they were going to go to the 1-3-1 one, one defense. They didn't, uh, luckily for me. But no, I mean, we, we, had, we had drawn something up in a timeout a couple plays before. So everybody knew exactly where to go. And then Sticks just said, we said, you know, we ran something a little different against it. Sticks just made a big time play. Alex 
important it was for Anthony to uh, shoot ball what you did and how much did that help you in terms of what you're trying to do going inside out? Yeah, Anthony hit some big shots uh, for us. He, he really played well. And he, you know what? One thing we've really gotten better at is screening. He said some, you know, really said some good screens out there tonight. It's really helping us. Um, and uh, so, but no, Anthony made some big shots. Out of bounds under, he made a big shot. And the three uh, away from our bench, where I thought he got fouled on, it, uh, made a big shot. Before. So happy for Anthony. Anthony's really grown up because it's all about winning. It's all about winning. His body language is better, right? It's all about winning. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's great to see this. I keep telling you, it's a fun team to coach. And, um, you know, we got to enjoy this one. It's hard to win. And just don't forget how young this team is and what they're doing. And, and, and just to follow up, can you uh, overstate how important from an emotional standpoint this is, not only for the team, but for you in terms of trying to get messages across at the end of the game, yeah. given what's gone on in the last couple of years, of course. Yeah, I don't worry about it. I look, my track record over the years is really good late game. So we've had a tough little stretch. Everybody wants to blame me, that's fine. Blame it on me, I can take it. That's one, Patrick. Mark, we're down eight there, I guess, for five minutes or so into the second half. In that stretch where you zip back and tie it by that, you know, 12, did that feel like kind of a, a stretch that could galvanize you yeah. moving forward that you were able to dig yourself out? Well, we've been able to dig back and then we lose it, and we dig back and lose it. That's kind of who we are right now. Um, but we were down eight, and they missed four free throws, thankfully. Right? And we could have been worse. And we were one for 11. So, yeah, we felt really good to be one for 11 and only be like six down or five down, whatever it was at that point. So uh, we kept telling the guys that, hey, we're in great shape, we're in great shape. We're going to start making shots. We're going to just keep executing, get our defense going. And uh, we did that. So, yeah, we felt fortunate to only be eight at that time. And then I saw that's when Sorrell was so good, and Wiggins was good. There's some funny lineups in there, and, and, and guys played great. Thanks, Coach. Yeah, thanks, guys. Coach Miles will be in there.